Parker Pete. You know that. Oi, get back here. Shit. What do you think? Just run, you idiot. It's bollocks. Over there. Come on, down here. No, Pete. There's a train. Peter. Just don't stop. Come on, this way. See ya. <sighs> Come on. There. Nice work. What? Huh? You're late. You were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. I gave you clear instructions. Anyway, come on. We can probably still make it if you're quick. What are you talking about? Hang on, Pete. Hey, mate, can you get us out of here? What? Are you kidding? Didn't you hear me? We don't have time for this. Either you're coming or piss off. But don't expect a refund. This isn't a charity. Guess we're going with him, then. Radioactive, get back! Chicken. Sam! Oh my god. It's now or never, son! They're over there! So be it. Wait! You're nicked. The other one's through that door! Gotcha! No. I don't believe it.
Hey, Dad. Good morning. Yes, I'm fully aware of the time. Just give me a sec and we'll be out of here. Ready when you are. I did my lunch already, so you don't need to worry about that. And I know you said I couldn't have crisp sandwiches, but I put ketchup on it, so it's one of my five a day. Oh, and before I forget, you know I asked you to sign my homework diary. Well, you don't need to worry about that anymore. I managed to forge your signature. By the way, a friendly reminder, there's nothing in the freezer. Can you go to the shop? Maybe get some of that new mouthwash while you're there. You know, the one with the picture of the dragon on the bottle. It's the best one because it shows all the bits of bad breath in the sink when you spit it out. Dad, can I get an electric toothbrush for my birthday? My friend Dylan has one. He said it's really fun, like going on the car wash, but in your mouth. Maybe we could share it with two different brush heads. You need a new toothbrush anyway. Your one has hairs all over it. And it looks as flat as a pancake. Dad, how come I have hair and you don't? You have some, but it's in the shape of a horse. Will I have horseshoe hair when I'm older? Right, ready to leave. Phone, Dad. Phone. Right, give it a buzz for me, Mole. Let's rock and roll. Let me check the post. The last one downstairs is a rotten turnip. I don't want to be a turnip, rotten or otherwise. Just bills and some posts for that man, Jack. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Well, postman not doing his job properly, I suppose. Guess we better do it for him. Roger that! So, chicken dippers for dinner? Oh, I don't know. Probably should try and be a bit more healthy. How about white fish on a bed of lentils? Wow! Get you, Jamie Oliver. Oh, hey. There's been another mix-up. Here you go. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, cheers. Jack, your clothes look mental. <laughs> what? No, they're not. Come on, Mole. Leave the fella alone. They're so tight. Doesn't your will get pinched? <laughs> Funny kid. Anyway, I have to go. Uh, nice seeing you both. Uh, do you have any posts for us? Yeah, hand it over. Stealing posts is a crime. Ah, oh, yeah, I, I do. Here you go. Sorry, it's a bit of a pile.
Oh, thanks. You messed up, Jack. Anyway, um, I've really got to run. Don't give yourself a wedgie. That guy doesn't have his head screwed on properly. I like him. Promise me you won't turn out like that. Don't worry, Dad. Your daughter's a super genius. Now that's what I like to hear. Why don't you and Jack be friends? We don't have any friends. Well, that's a bit harsh. What about Shazia? Yeah, but she's a work friend. You need cooler friends. Friends who jog and have stupid hair. There's plenty of those idiots down the gym. But you don't go to the gym. You were joking about fish on a bed of mentals, right? Well, you can't have greasy food every night and get me in trouble. I don't think they can take me away for having chicken dippers. I think some of these letters are from social services again. Don't worry. If they send one of those people around again, I'll shoot them with a machine gun, then push them down the rubbish chute. Right. See you later then, Houston. Don't forget dinner. Yeah, I made a mental note. Bye, Dad. Fancy seeing you here. Yep. You work in Central? Sorry, mate, what with that? Okay, well, I'll, I'll let you get back to whatever it is you're doing on your phone. Sorry, I'm being rude. Don't worry. See you around. Idiots! Oh, my phone! That's expensive stuff! Are you guys alright? The screen smashed. Do you know how expensive these are? Look, let me uh, let me help you up. 
Get away from my stuff, thief. All right, fine. Give me your arm. You two, you two, you two. were made for each other. Hang on, were we just... Sorry, mate. I've got to go. What time do you call this? Sorry, I um, got held up. Oh, never mind that. I need your advice on something. Go on. So, I met Darren again last night. You know, the one with the funny ears. Captain Spock. Anyway, he invited me back to his last night. Finally! Mm. Go well. Mm. Can't complain. So are you going to that drinks thing on Thursday? Hang on. What happened with Darren? I'll fill you in on that later. Please say you'll come out. You're the only one I can talk to. No, I can't. Got to look after Molly. Oh, you always use that as an excuse. Morning, or should I say afternoon? It's only just gone nine. Nine oh two by my watch. Synced to Big Ben. That's, that's very clever. Careful, sunshine. Don't forget who's in charge around here. You're our supervisor, not our prison warden. <laughs> now all I can think about is Shaz in handcuffs. Do you even do any work round here? If you knew the pressure I'm under to hit the new target, the fact I'm keeping it together is a miracle. We all have targets. Oh, he's popped up, hasn't he? You better wind your neck in. Don't forget you're on report for all those days off. Yeah, because he was in hospital. Shaz, that's tragic. Come on. support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. Can I speak to a human, please? Thanks. Did you say you would like to refer a friend? The printer doesn't work. I'll put you through to one of our support team advisors. Finally! We are currently experiencing a high number of calls. You are number 164 in the queue. Please hold. All right, 5.30. Let's get out of here. John, mate, where do you think you're going? Um, I'm going home. It's 5pm. I think we're entitled. Didn't you get my email? I marked it as important. You couldn't have missed it. No, I didn't get your email. Oh, no, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, long story short, there's been a bit of a foul-up. Anyway, I need the Royal Oak files completed by the start of tomorrow. I think it can keep. Hmm, no can do. The big man upstairs says it's tomorrow or your department is in deep doo-doo. I'll stick around and help you out. Well, it's John's cases. 
I don't think we should set a precedent of sharing out work. Thanks, Shaz, but it's, it's OK. What about Molly? Oh, get a sitter. You go home. Good lad. All right. Well, if you're sure, I'll see you outside Molly's school tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Shaz. And remember, it's a school night, so don't get up to too much trouble. Ugh. You never sent an email, did you? Shit rolls downhill, mate. You forgot dinner, didn't you? Look, I'm sorry, Ma, it's, it's been a really long day. I, I just forgot. I think there's some jelly in the fridge. That'll do. It's kind of late for you to get back. I've been here since three o'clock. Well, do you want me to get a childminder in the future? Yes. You don't need a job, mind her. And anyway, we can't afford one. Well, I did my homework. Do you want to check it? You don't need me to check it. You're smarter than me anyway. I'm just going to rest my eyes for a minute and then, uh, then I'll sort out dinner. Sorry. I think I overslept again. Wait a minute. Where am I? Molly? Molly, are you here? What the hell is all this stuff? Where the hell am I? What's up with my voice? My body feels weird. <laughs> 